Yo, what is up everybody? Today I'll be showing you guys how to make the best light rays effect on iPhone. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do multiple versions of this. That's going to include a free version and then two more versions if you have either Video Start or Light Motion, which are both very common mobile apps. First up, I'll be showing you guys how to make the free version, and that's very simple. That's in CapCut. So you're going to open up CapCut, and it's really simple. Just add in your clip or whatever. Uh, you can add in your clip, your, uh, your edit, whatever. And all you have to do is you just have to tap off of it and go to Effects. And it's going to take you like over here, and you got all these categories right over here. But what you're going to do is you're going to scroll over, and you're actually going to tap on Shadow. And basically, it's going to bring you to this tab right here. And you're gonna scroll down until you find angel and there is your light rays effect right there and this is like since this is the free version it looks a little bit crazy I'm not gonna lie like it adds like a little bit of blur to it and it looks all right so I wouldn't suggest doing this effect like too much on here so simply when I'm trying to do light rays effect on this app what I find really convenient and pretty cool is going over to this retro tab and adding in like one of these type of uh, effects like this like one of these retro and I don't know it just kind of makes it a little bit less harsh and yeah it looks a little bit better all up to you though and how you like your edit but really any of these retro effects look pretty cool with it and yeah that's it for the free version all right next up we're gonna be doing a light motion once again this is pretty easy so you're gonna tap on your clip or your edit and you're gonna go to effects and add effect and it's very simple you can either go to the search bar and type in rays Oh my god, I cannot type. You're going to type in rays, and you can click it right there, or you can go to the color and light category, and tap rays just like that. And now, it starts off a little bit weird, it just kind of adds like this glow, and you're going to have to mess around with the effects now. See, I am going to add the length, a little bit like that, and then you can also mess around with the intensity of it. What I find is good is, not like a super high intensity, but you do want to but you do want to glow a little bit and then a bigger length. In my opinion, the light motion rays isn't like the best version of rays that you can get on iPhone. I think that Video Star is the best, a light motion is second, and then I think, and then CapCut is the third option for this. But yeah, they're definitely not bad. And yeah, that's the light rays for a light motion. All right, next up we got Video Star. And in Video Star, there are actually two ways to do this. So you're gonna import your clip or your edit just over here. And first thing that you're going to do is you're actually going to press new and re-effect. Alright, and since there are two ways to show this, I'm going to show the easiest one first, and then the more difficult one, which is better in my opinion, second. So the easier one, you're just going to press new, multi-layer, one, and then click on that one right there. Go to color, and you're just going to scroll over until you can find light rays right here. And this is what it looks like by default. Uh, you can mess with like the range of it or something and there is like regular light rays which I think looks better than light rays too but yeah this looks a little bit awkward in my opinion but if you're just looking for like an easier way to make this or just an easier way to make this effect then go with this one but now I'm going to show the more difficult one which still isn't even like that difficult but yeah if you're finished with that you can just press create and you got that now for the slightly more difficult version is you're going to press new re-effect and press that plus right there go to the search bar and you're just gonna type in t-r-o-n tron like that and it's just gonna make that press the drop down arrow press quick effects and now new re-effect press that plus again you're gonna go here and you're gonna type in x dash ray that first one and it's gonna look like that quick effects and then next what you have to do is just press next uh, new re-effect and you don't even have to touch anything because it puts it it like opposites it and then quick effects one more time All right, and then you just got one more step for this You're gonna go new re-effect and you are going to press that plus and type in zoom blur Just like that and for this you can mess with like the the length or anything and you can even like go with the angle Whatever angle you want to do. So let's say I just wanted to do it like that press the drop down arrow quick effects all right that's pretty much the hardest part now you're gonna go to new multi-layer press that one and you're gonna press the original clip go to two and then put that last version right there and now you're gonna press color and you're gonna scroll until you find blend bg 
and that's it that's all you have to do in my opinion this looks a lot better than the one before and the one at a light motion and cap cut because if i were to clear this layer real quick and just have this one and i'll show you like the basic light rays that they have if I were to put that on like zero length, it's basically, it just finds the edges and then it just adds like zoom blur. So whenever I'm doing rays, I always do it this way. My opinion, it just looks more natural. But yeah, th that is four ways that you can make the light rays effect on iPhone. If you guys learned anything or enjoyed the video at all, consider leaving a like and subscribing because it really helps me out. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.